Good day, welcome to this uh, video. Uh, it is sponsored by the Hogard AME Zion Church in Jackson, in St. Michael in the island of Barbados. And I'm the Reverend Ronald Nathan, the minister of the church. Our meditation comes from a psalm a day, and we're looking particularly at Psalm 30. When God gives favor, I grew up uh, in the island of Trinidad and Tobago and one of the songs that helped me to understand the relationship that I had between God uh, and myself was a song written by Andre Crouch and it says these words, I don't know why Jesus loves me. I don't know why he cares. I don't know why he sacrificed his life, but oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that he did. The dictionary meaning of the word favor is that which you do for someone. If you do someone a favor, you do something for them. And even though you do not have to do it. So a favor is unmerited, not necessarily deserved. In verse 5 and verse 7 of this, the 30th Psalm, uh, we read on in two occasions that in his favor is life. In his favor is life. And then in the seventh verse, Lord, by thy favor. I have been going through this psalm and I found it interesting that um, David, the writer of this psalm, points out a number of things that happens when God gives us favor. Uh, in the first verse, he says, he lifted me up. He lifted me up. I was down and he lifted me up. That is favor. He healed me. Verse 2, he healed me. I was sick. I was sick. And he healed me. He's my healer. That is called favor. He goes on to illustrate favor by saying in the third verse, he kept me alive. I should be dead. But for his goodness and for his mercy, that is favor. In the fifth verse of the psalm, says, His anger is for a moment. That is favor. He should be angry with me much longer, but for his favor. It also tells us in that same verse that weeping turns into joy. Weeping may endure for a night. Joy comes in the morning. That is favor. He made me to stand strong. That is God's favor. Then we are told in the seventh verse that he turned my mourning into gladness or into joy. That is favor. And when I should be in mourning clothes, in sackcloth and ashes, uh, he turned, well, it says he's turned my mourning into dancing and my sackcloth into joyful, joyful clothes. That is favor. You and I both require and need desperately the favor of God. God is the one that had created us placed us on this planet and given us responsibility to be stewards of the planet, to develop uh, systems and programs and projects and uh, to maintain our families and our communities and so forth. That's God's favor. God entrusted in us responsibility. Well, something happened in the whole arrangement. In the Bible, we are told that humankind sinned and came short of God's glory. 
although we keep drawing on the bank of favors, we really should not have an account at all. But God in his mercy has shown us favor. So if you wish to know God in a personal way and thereby fully appreciate his favor by giving him glory, praise, honor, and worship, why not accept him today and say, Lord, I want to accept your favor of salvation. Come into my life and save me. Let's bow our heads to pray. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for this day, and we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to share in this meditation. We praise you, O oh God, and thank you for your favor that is all around us. And now, Lord, we pray for those who are viewing this broadcast, those who are viewing this video. We pray, Lord, that you will touch them and that they may experience even now the power of God working in them and showing them favor. Touch, Lord, the sick one. Touch, Lord, the confused one. Touch, Lord, the one who has lost direction. Touch, Lord, the one who has lost hope. Touch, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. May God bless you. May God make his face to shine upon you and give you peace. If you are being blessed by this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it with your family and friends and give us a thumbs up. Have a great day.